What's up guys? So I've been waiting to make this video for a very long time. I finally got one of my girls in that I've been waiting on for over a year. She's by far my most expensive ball python. And honestly, she's what got it all started when I wanted to start breeding high-end ball pythons. What's up YouTube, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. Listen, Hit me up on Instagram, blue underscore line underscore Morse, man. Definitely want to check me out in there. Stay up to date on YouTube, what's going on with my projects, and follow this shit so long as we go. Listen, if you're new to the channel, man, definitely subscribe. Hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get right into this. So, listen, guys, today's video is not clickbait. Uh, my most expensive ball python is finally here. I've been waiting for her, waiting on her for over a year now. We'll explain why it took so long to get her what my plans are for her. But honestly, she's the reason why all this got started, why I decided to start breeding high-end ball pythons or ball pythons in general. But before we get into that real quick, guys, no real updates. Uh, rats are doing well, everything's doing well. Did a full nice clean in here. Uh, I'm going to Mexico in like, I don't know, 12 hours or something like that. Uh, while I'm gone, I'm expecting two clutches, maybe three, one of which we'll talk about, which is kind of a big key part to this story. Uh, so Sal from Gomez Pythons is gonna be stopping by uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hopefully he'll make that little parody video of him pulling my clutch and putting the incubator. The eggs are doing great in there, guys. Um, next week, Wednesday and Thursday, he did that interview. I gotta get better interviews, but well, I'll get better, I promise. Uh, we did, we stopped by Anthony's house with the Reptile Creation. So Wednesday's video next week, while I'm on vacation, will be a, a facility tour. He's got some really amazing animals, really nice setup. He's got his basement all done up really nice. Uh, Definitely check that out. You got some bangers in that collection. Definitely want to see that. Also, while I was there, uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to witness him or watch him and experience the, almost, I would say, an expert ball python breeder pull a clutch. And uh, so Saturday's video next week is going to be all about that, pulling his, his first clutch of the 2021 season. Uh, so let's get right into this video, guys. You guys are here for an expensive ball python, so let's get into this. Um, now, I've only been in the game for, since I say, July of 2019, okay? That's why I bought another ball python again. So I did my research, blah, blah, blah. Um, long story short, guys, I've mentioned it before. I got my Killer Leopard Clown Girl and my Sterling Lesser Clown Girl from my, my buddy Big Ed over in Jersey, the retired uh, cop over there. This is how that went down. So I, my mom had cancer. And they cut it out of her, she's good, whatever. Uh, so I, I wanted to go before she got surgery. I took a, a week vacation, got did something wrong. I wanted to be down there. Then I came back a week uh, after her surgery to help her out around the house, so forth and so on. So while I was there, I had nothing really better to do, watch the with my mom and jump on Craigslist and YouTube and start watching uh, videos and looking for snakes. So long story short, I came across, uh, I'll show her in a second, actually. I don't, she's, she's probably doing about five days. I don't want to fuck with her too much, but I'll show you her in a second. I came across this ad for a killer leopard clown female. Now, it was listed at 1800 bucks. At the time, I thought 1800 bucks was a ridiculous amount of money for a ball python. I, I wish that was still the case. Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, before we get into this, I have another girl that's already here and she's had a great meal. I'm not gonna reveal her today, but you're gonna see her in like a week or so. She's another hammer uh, for the same project. Anyway. So I saw this killer leopard clown from Ed and I fell in love with it. And once I saw the high end version of like these animals and start seeing these, these combinations and stuff like that, I really, really fell in love with them, especially a killer leopard clown. I don't know what it was about that animal, but all I can tell you is I absolutely fell in love with it. So long story short, you guys have heard this story. Ed kind of threw me an attitude, thought I was just, you know, a tire kicker. I really wasn't serious about the animal. Kind of blew me off. Long story short, I became very, very good friends with him now and... He actually ended up, you know, he's going through some stuff in his life and he wants to move his collection. He wants to do some things. He wants to travel and do all this other stuff. So long story short, I ended up purchasing that girl from him. Now, I'll show you her real quick because she's actually one of the girls. She's actually one of the girls that uh, Sal. Great. She's one of the girls that Sal is going to be pulling. So this is her actually. This is my killer leopard clown female. She was paired with my uh, recently departed rest in peace tank my leopard spot nose leopard head clown male so i'm looking to ho hopefully hit a couple uh pastel batmans we'll see what happens got my sensor push hanging out let's move this over this is the other girl i got from ed this is a sterling lesser clown she's looking beautiful but long story short guys because i came in contact with this animal and i fell in love with this animal that's what sparked me to get the girl that you're about to see now 
When I came in contact with this animal, I didn't think I'd be able to afford her, straight up, okay? This animal was listed at $7,000, and she was the only one available at the time. I haven't seen another one actually at all since then. Uh, long story short, uh, I was talking to Ed, and I said, Ed, I, I love this animal. It's your girl, but it's pied. I love clown pieds, obviously. Here's my clown pied. He's like, well, you know, true an offer. I was like, I can't afford a $7,000 animal. So long story short, I literally was sitting there in February 2020, and I'm sitting there and literally uh, stake out. I'm waiting for a guy to come out of the house, supposedly with a firearm, right? So I could do my thing. And I'm sitting there, and I said, fuck it. I messaged the guy on Mark Market. I said, hey, I'll take her for six grand and 1,000 down. And sure enough, he said yes, and I was like, uh-oh. So long story short, that day, sitting in my piece of shit fusion with tints, I sent over $1,000 to my buddy Dan, okay? Now, I had a year to pay this girl off, but I got distracted by other girls and other things and equipment, other snakes and so forth and so on. So Dan was an absolute sweetheart, uh, loved the fact that I was a cop. So he said, you know, pay her off, take as long as you want. So I slowly paid her off over time. Then eventually I paid her off completely. And now she's here. So stand by, let me go grab her. And let me go show you my $6,000 ball python. What's up guys? So I went and grabbed her. She's in my hand right now. And th this is why I do this guys. I look down at this animal and this animal is so cool to me. Um, this is exactly, this girl when I first saw her, I, I never thought I'd be able to afford a ball python that cost this much or look like this. And to me, this was the pinnacle of what high end ball pythons were. Uh, somehow Big Ed convinced me to put money down on her. She's finally here, it's a year in the making. So without further ado, the newest edition of Blue Land Morphs, a killer leopard clown pied female. She's in about 750 grams. Um, she is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna put her down on the table in a second so you guys get a better look at her. I'll try to, try to show her off right here as much as I can. Obviously, I'm gonna have a lot of pictures. Now, she lost a little bit of the pattern as she got older because she used to have some crazy leopard uh, pattern on her, but she kind of lost a little bit, but I'm not really worried about that at all. Listen, before I even keep this thing going, let's address the elephant in the room. So if you guys have followed my channel, you know I have a lot of pastel. That's when it comes to my clowns. Killer Leopard Clown, Sterling Lesser Clown, which is, you know, killer. I have a Killer Energy Blade Clown. I got the Pastel Butter Clown, the Pastel Energy Blade Clown. And I get destroyed by Ozzy and Redline Pythons and Porter and pretty much everybody that knows me about how much pastel I have in my collection. Um, do I need more pastel in my collection? No, I don't. Uh, now that my collection has gotten a lot bigger from when I put money down on her, could I have told Dan, you know, I really don't need these, these jeans in my collection? Absolutely. I could have absolutely did that, but I had an obligation to him. I didn't want to do that. But with that being said, guys, despite the fact that it's super pastel and all her offering will be pastel, I fell in love with this animal. When I tell you guys, when I first saw this girl on Morph Market, I had to have her. I didn't think I'd ever be able to afford her. I worked my ass off, I saved, I sold things, I did whatever I could to have this animal, and I couldn't be happier to have this girl in my collection. Um, she is absolutely stunning. And when I first got her, I picked her up from uh, FedEx. She was a little cold, I was a little nervous about that. I warmed her up slowly in my arms. I literally, literally took her out of the, 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 the snake bag and I put her underneath my hoodie, and I had her on my skin. She slowly started to move around a little more. She wasn't like real cold, but she was good. She was a little, little cold than I would have liked. Regardless, uh, I let her warm up for about a day, and then I put an ASF in there from Sal from Gomez Python, and uh, it almost took my hand off. So I think she's a very good eater. I'm really excited about this. She's about 700 and something grams right now. We're gonna put some nice size on her. She's a 2019 hatchling. And Dan did apologize for being a little smaller than he had, had wanted her to be at this age. He said, you know, with COVID and stuff like that, it was hard for him to get uh, some, you know, feeders. And, but other than that, the guy, Dan, went above and beyond. His wife dropped her off in a so snowstorm. It's probably just a little cold. Long story short, guys, I am so happy to have this girl here. Um, so I, now in my collection, I have two double visual clown pieds, super pastel leopard clown pied, and then obviously the pastel clown pied. And I know what you guys are thinking again, elephant in the room, a lot of pastel, but I love this animal. Simply put, I love this girl. This girl is what really started me wanting to uh, breed high-end ball pythons. When I saw this girl, I was like, you know, if I can make something like that, it would just, it, it would be phenomenal. I, I would absolutely love it. So now I have her in my collection. I could not be happier, guys. My clown pie project is really coming together. Uh, if you guys remember last week, I picked up that GHI Mojave double head clown pied female. I have the big old pastel clown pied girls ready to go right now. I have a yellow belly and she double head clown pie. I have this girl now, another uh, double visual, and then obviously I'm going to make heads with my yellow, orange dream, yellow belly, pastel fire leopard pied male from Ozzy. So long story short, guys, as of now, I have orange dream, yellow belly, enchi, pastel, 
Fire Leopard and and Enchi. I said it already. Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Pastel, Leopard, Fire, and Enchi, all in my and GHI and Mojave, all in my Clown Pie projects. Plus, guys, I have another girl that just ate another um, her first meal with me. That I'm adding two more jeans to my Clown Pie project. You're not gonna believe what I got with her. She's another powerhouse. But guys, this is my most expensive ball python. This is the girl I've been waiting for for over a year. I could not be happier with this ball python. Um, Ah, she's so cool. She's like more of a pet to me at this point. I think she's absolutely beautiful, guys. And again, it's another double visual for my project. But here she is. My soup, my super pastel leopard clown pied female, aka the killer leopard clown pied female. This girl I'm gonna name, guys, so I'm definitely gonna have some help with the name, but she is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot be happier. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you so much for everybody that kind of pushed me to get this girl, especially Big Ed, but. Yeah, I got two killer leopard clowns now. Uh, one just happens to have be piebald also. It is what it is, guys. Listen, I really appreciate you watching the video. I'm really happy about this girl. I am really happy about going to Mexico in a few hours. But other than that, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys look forward to watching her grow up. I'm um, going to put her back in her tub, let her warm up. But other than that, guys, um, really appreciate it. Comment, comment down below. Leave a couple messages for me. How beautiful is this animal? Again, my killer leopard clown pie girl. It's in about 700 grams. We're moving along here. Blue line morphs. I'm really excited. As always, guys, I greatly appreciate it. Be safe. Please remember, watch the six. This beautiful animal. I am so excited, guys. Look how beautiful this girl is.